Welcome to 3ABN Today, another cooking program, and my name is Paul Akins, and this is Curtis. Okay, honey. Oh, my name is Curtis Akins, and this is Paula. Check and, check, check and see if you are alert. Did okay. you catch that? I'm definitely alert. Yes. Okay. Okay. Kind of well, threw you off a little bit, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Okay, let's get back on track. Okay. So. <laughs> so. I like this program because... What program A lot of times when holidays come around, people are always trying to figure out yeah. what to do. Mm -hmm. And so this program is specifically about picnic time. Picnic time? Is that time about of picnic, year? Picnic time, uh, time to go out. Okay. Uh, and you can kind of go, you know, outside in your backyard, you know. Mm -hmm. You can actually just um, go to a park and have a picnic. Any but place. All of our foods are going to be for picnicking. Picnic time, time. all picnic right. Time. Sounds outside, good. Going Sounds outside, good. You know? right. Last time, when's the last time we had a picnic together? We have them quite often, though. Yes, yeah, you do. and I. Our, our, our newest ones, yeah. Back in our, we've taken our backyard, backyard. And converted it. That's right. A little a canopy in the backyard there, and a table there, and look out at our garden. Barbecue grill. Yeah, all right. Got a grill Veggie out there. barbecue. Yeah, because people are saying barbecue grill. Did she say barbecue grill? You sure do. Uh-huh, yeah, we got the a veggie grill. Burgers. We do the veggie burgers and Beyond Meat burgers and, and the corn zucchini and, and zucchini corn and all Straight that kind of stuff. Straight from our garden. Stuff, you know? Yeah, garden's uh -huh. right there and the Everything canopy's right there. I love so it. I love big it. backyard, so. Uh, so I thought I would do a special program because people are always trying to figure out, especially when they become vegetarians, yeah. as to... Do I have to throw the barbecue grill out? Well, you know, we used to talk to you about the big black skillet we were using mm -hmm. to do fried chicken in, and now we're using that for other things as well. So mm -hmm. guess what? A lot of the things that you already have at home, you could still use even now, even though you've changed out to a mm -hmm. plant-based eating. Okay. And I like that part right there, okay? Plant-based, yeah. Plant-based. So uh, it's going to be good for the... Okay, go ahead. Go right ahead. Yeah, well, good for the system, really, because a lot of people move in that direction, and it's easier to do. A lot of people think that if you go vegetarian, vegan, it's going to cost more money. Oh, yeah? And let me say this. The healthier we eat, the lower our grocery expense. Absolutely. And that Absolutely. makes sense of what our people And I the doctor said. bill. And the doctor yeah. bill. Because the, the cost of food does not stop at the, at the cash register. That's right. Based on what we eat, it can mm -hmm. go into the doctor's office, et cetera. So, well, we right. say doctor's office, or it can wind up in the hospital or intensive care. And that's the total cost oh, of yeah. food. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It just and so, continues. And so the thing is, uh, when we think about vegetarianism and changing up, one of the ways in which I was able to make these switches was really because of the fact that I kept saying, okay, so what are we going to do now? Okay, um, how are we going to switch things up? And I'm always thankful because my daughter, when I went to school and started learning about mm -hmm. nutrition and stuff, she kept saying, Mom, Mom, you've changed a lot of recipes up already. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just take things out and make them vegetarian? I was like, hmm, out of the mouth of babes, babes, out yeah. of the mouth of babes. And so I began switching things out. What mm -hmm. do you do for sugar? What do you do for fat? You know, what do you do for your oils? And as you begin to work with it, what do you do for your flours? What do you do with the bread? All those things, believe it or not, this is just the most best time to really think about vegetarian and plant-based food because it's so much out mm -hmm. there that is open and available to us. But you do have to know how to mix it and put it together. That's for sure. And, and a lot of people want to do something that's easy, palatable, yeah. and the mouth appeal. It looks appetizing. Yes. When I get back to you, uh, 26 years ago, I think about that, yeah. 26 years ago, my wife had 57 cookbooks. <laughs> 57. And you told me all those cookbooks, like maybe two or three recipes are good in each one of those cookbooks. 
So that's why I decided to make your own. I spent a lot of money yes. buying cookbooks because somebody was showing them up and showing a special thing. I got the book mm -hmm. and discovered only maybe two or three recipes in there. I did the whole book. But once again, something said, if you don't like what's going on, mm -hmm. do something about it. Yes. And so the challenge was out there. Mm -hmm. The challenge was out there to make the switches. And it, it, this is amazing because God is actually the one that's over all of it. Mm -hmm. And he always says to me, let's go in the kitchen. There let's you go, go in the kitchen. As I'm thinking through and working things out, I'm trying to figure out what goes on. And one of the things that I really like is that uh, at Oakwood University, um, I taught classes in nutrition. And one of the classes I taught was the science of foods. And that was studying foods and seeing what makes them bake, what, mm. how do you get them to turn, the color they turn, and what makes them uh, uh, fluent. Texture. All those All things, that, the texture yeah. and everything. So not only did I have to do that as mm -hmm. an instructor, but I had to teach the students that. Because they just thought, if I saw cornbread and it was brown and gold, I'm mm -hmm. good. No, no, you got to figure out what actually makes it that color. I remember so, you told me when the, uh, some of the students signed for your class. They saw nutrition. Oh, I got this. Yeah, we, yeah. Oh, nutrition. That's, that. that's easy. Yeah, we say that. No, it's, it's a science. It, it is a serious science. Nutrition is a science. It is, it is, it is. And, okay, so. Um, so this first recipe, Curtis, believe it or not, it's actually a barbecue rib that I know that's going to shock them, okay, to okay. even see this recipe. So let's look at that recipe. All on right, let's do it. It's actually called mock beefy barbecue ribs. It calls for two cups of vital wheat gluten. It calls for two teaspoons of smoked paprika, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one and one half cup of warm water, two tablespoons of all natural peanut butter, two tablespoons of soy sauce light one tablespoon of liquid smoke, two cups of your favorite barbecue sauce, and vegetable cooking spray. Okay. Now, so I've what, always been kind what, of reluctant mm -hmm. to do this particular recipe because there's more, more, a little bit more work with it. Okay, mm -hmm. now it has the stages, but I'm gonna tell you right now, when these ribs are done, you are like, you got to be kidding me, they taste like regular ribs. You'll be licking your fingers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, in this recipe, Curtis, We've already got our vita wheat gluten, and you know the vita wheat gluten. And, uh, let's talk about that. Yeah. The vita wheat <clears throat> gluten back in the back in the day, <clears throat> when we were making all of our meat substitutes, I remember that mm -hmm. we used to take flour, wash it, wash it, wash it, till we got down to the gluten mm -hmm. base of it. We have a big pot of water with bell peppers and onions and garlic in it, and then we would take that ball mm -hmm. and sit it down into that with a sauce, like a beef sauce or whatever, mm -hmm. and we'd cook it up and it would swell up, mm -hmm. and we would do burgers out of it, we would do steaklets out of it, everything that mocked and looked like anything that had to do with meat, and of course it was brown. Mm -hmm. And so, then all of a sudden, like I said before, this is the best time to think about plant-based eating. They can't with vital wheat gluten. Mm -hmm. All you're doing is just add water to it. Just add already, water, it's already ready to go. In a regular grocery store, right? It's in a I mean, regular grocery store. Grocery store, yeah. Vital wheat gluten. And so with this one here, particular one, to make it look like, act like, smell like, taste like ribs, then what we're gonna do is we gotta have, we got our warm water, mm -hmm. and what you're gonna do for me is you're gonna put in the natural peanut butter, mm -hmm. and a soy sauce, and a liquid smoke. Okay. And then you're gonna spin that up with, for me. You do that. Go ahead that. and do that now. Yes, go ahead okay. and do that. Now, liquid smoke, uh, let's, because that may be new to some people as well. Well. Where you can find that regular really, grocery yeah, store? Yeah, it's right there with all, yeah, with the soy sauces, liquid smoke. Okay, right in that. that same area, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to, you're going to be putting that peanut butter now. When you put that in, you need to start spinning right away because the peanut butter is going to jump to the bottom. Okay. All right. Make sure it gets out. For... Yeah. And then I'm going to actually be putting in the nutritional yeast inside with my my vital wheat gluten. I'm going to put the onion powder in. And really, this vital wheat gluten can make almost anything. I mean, I've seen. I've actually done corned beef. Okay. I've done mock chicken because the vital wheat gluten has such a personality. It's, it doesn't have any flavor at all. And so with that in mind, it's able to mix and match anything you want to put together mm -hmm. and make a meat substitute, all right? Okay. So, Curtis, what you're going to do now for me is you're going to slowly stir in. I mean, you're going to add that in. I'm going to stir it while you do it. You're mm -hmm. going to stir. This is the sauce. It's going to go in. I'm going to make sure that peanut butter. Okay, I can't, uh -oh. do, it. I can't do it too slow, honey. No, just put it, on the, put it over here on the edge, baby, like that. I can't do it, do it down too lower. slow, though. There you go, like that. Okay. Okay, you got it? Mm -hmm. All right. And so what we're doing is we're actually making a paste, putting this together. It looks like a paste at first, but it's actually going to make a ball of gluten. Uh-oh, give me that peanut butter. There it is. Okay. Let me get that out of there. Because this is what helps to make it have that flavor. Okay, you can go ahead and pull that in. 
Well, yeah, really kind of. There you go. It's okay. There you go. All right. Let me get that. Uh... There you go. And I'm just mashing up in there. And I said natural peanut butter. Okay, and why is that different, Curtis, from the regular peanut butter that people use? Well, you got the use sugar. In? Right. Uh, it, it should be two ingredients, folks, two. Peanuts and salt. That's it. That's it. Now, you have the sugar and everything else, and I mean, that's not... Uh, so, now, what about chunky or smooth, or does it really matter? Now, you're not going to do chunky because, remember, this is supposed to be a rib, so you don't want to make oh, chunky okay. peanut well, butter. Oh, okay, well, that's... Okay. You so, definitely want to so use... So, forget about the chunky. You want, yeah. you want the smooth. Yeah. Okay. And let me hold your... Let me hold this from in here. Okay, can, uh, there's a little, hold it, baby. There's a little oh. bit of a uh, sauce there. Can you pour that, in, pour that right on? I need on? to... Just put one? On. Yeah, okay, that one there. Okay. Just give me everything. Okay. Okay. All righty, and then that same thing with that soy. Just give me that. Okay. All right. Now, this is the part where it gets kind of touchy. Kind of touchy. So this is what we have to do. I got my gloves. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, you're going to get messy, huh? <laughs> because what you have to do is you have to kind of knead this for a few minutes to get everything meshed in together. And we're going to take and put it into our 8x8 eight eight square glass dish. So all I'm doing is just moving it around. Okay? Remember now, we're supposed to be making these ribs. And the other thing is, when we're doing cooking vegetarian and we have to go somewhere and somebody asks us to bring something, we never tell them what we're bringing. No. Because the minute you say the word vegetarian. And, and never say vegan. You're just in another planet. I mean, that's, you're just totally out. So Vegetarian bad enough. I know, I know, I know. Particularly in the South, so. And so you don't have to need a lot. This is helps to make it tender. We know I've mixed all my combination of things in there together. I'm going to keep these on because, Curtis, what I need for you to do is, um, I believe I have my spray. No, I don't. Uh, my cooking spray? Uh, cooking spray, okay. Yeah, there, over I see there. Okay. Yes. Would you now, get that for me? Now, when I'm over there, is there anything else you need other than the cooking spray while I'm in that vicinity? Um, no, that's it. That's it? Cooking spray. So I'm going to go and get the cooking spray and I'll get be right back, spray. okay? And I, and I won't talk about you okay. while you're going. I'm, a, I'm not going too far, <laughs> so I can still listen to you while you're talking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Also busy laughing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. See, he ain't this time to talk. You're busy laughing. Okay. okay. <laughs> what I want you to do is um, I want you to hold this up like this over to the side, and then you're going to spray the bottom of that for me, please. Oh, okay. That's enough. Okay. All right. I set that there. All right. So all I'm going to do is to take this ball right here. It's got all that good seasoning in it. <clears throat> I'm going to put it in here. Yeah. Oh. That. That was it. And then I'm going to take and mash it. Oh. Because we got to make assimilation of barbecue ribs. Now, I'll tell you something right now. People watching this and say, it's no way in the world you're going to make some barbecue ribs of the ingredients I just saw. I know, I know, I know. And I mean, there's always, no way in the world. When it comes to plant-based cooking, people are always saying, that ain't going to mm -hmm. work. No, I can see that, that right ain't now. Some work. people may be saying that. I know, but you know, I'm going to tell you right now, it does work, all right? So once because you put it in it. there, you want to make sure that it goes to all your corners, okay? And believe it or not, when it goes in the oven mm -hmm. to bake, it's actually going to swell up a little bit because it is gluten-based. Okay. All right? So I've mashed that down. Now I'm going to take these off because now it's time to show you the other parts of this. We're going to take a knife. And the name of the game is to cut this into eight pieces. Mm. Don't worry about trying to go all the way down to the bottom, you know, but just know we're going to do eight pieces. So we're going to go down. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. And we're going to go down. You and you're going to do this thin. And we're going to go down. Because we got to do eight of these. Okay? Mm. And we're going to go down. Mm. Okay? Mm. And this is going to be more defined as it, as after it comes out the oven. You're going to go and do this another time. How many I got? One, two, three. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, seven. And the last one is going to make an eight one. All right. Okay. Now... Because ribs really don't have that, you can make them long, but let's make these short ribs. So we're going to come across. In half. In half. All right. And one of the things that you can do if you have a pizza cutter. Oh, okay. You can use your pizza cutter. And, do and that. you can go across. Okay. And sometimes I do this at the beginning. Sometimes I do the pizza thing at the very end once it comes out the oven. Okay. Mm. So at this point, it's going in the oven at 325 degrees for about 30 minutes. And if All you right. come and cook here at the 3 a.m. oven, 
It's even faster What happens, still. Curtis? Show them what happens. Then, this is how fast our ovens are in here oven. in 3 ABN. Uh-huh. And bring out the, let's see how fast the oven really is. That's fast Voila. cooking. Yes, indeed. Boom, yes, there indeed. it is. <laughs> wow, look Moving at that. Okay, yes. And so we've already got this taken care of. It's already been ready to go. And now at this point, because it, duh, you're not quite sure what it is, so we're going to go ahead and finish them off a little bit here. So now you score it again. Just score it. And we're going to score it now into four sections, okay? Four sections. Because our next step is to turn on, and we got to... Now we gotta look like ribs. Now we gotta simulate. We gotta put some. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get some that. lines on it. Yeah. I get some lines on it. So let's go ahead on and do that. That's gonna be next. Um, I need some more oil. Okay. Regular. Uh, we'll put some in a jar or a cup. Yeah. Put some in. Put them. Put some in. In this right here, baby. And let me see. Do I have? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before you go anyway, do I have my brush? Um, I should have my barbecue brush over there as well, okay? So, you know, I love sending Curtis away to find things, and sometimes when I think I got all of it together, I really don't, and, um, but it's okay, it's okay, because uh, he's working over there. And baby, you can bring that oil back if you, oh, go ahead, bring me that, and then did you see my brush that I used to okay. brush it on? Okay, here's the oil right here. <laughs> then I'll come back and bring the brush, okay? Absolutely. So that will get you started. Thank you. All right? Uh-huh, I appreciate that. But I need to brush in order to be able to put it on the grill. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Now, if I'm gone too long, you may have to come off the camera with me. <laughs> anyway, one of the things that happens is we've got it looking like this, and we make the lines in it because when you make the lines, because most ribs are really thin, okay, and we usually do them in blocks. So when you look at this particular recipe, I've actually cut it here. I've cut it here. We're doing it half and half here. Okay, now, I hope this will work. Absolutely. See, dear? Oh, good. Okay. See, dear? Now, See, dear? Okay, so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my okay. brush, and I'm going to brush my grill first. Oh, okay. Because we got to get that simulation of Now, ribs. this will give some lines to it. That's well, right. Yes. There you go. Okay. There you go. And then I take a little bit and I begin to put on top of that. Has it been in the oven already cooking? Mm hmm 30 minutes. But we got to get that line on there so it looks like ribs, okay? Mm hmm And those who eat ribs know that this is uh, right on point mm -hmm. as far as how it's supposed to be looking, okay? So we got that on there. You want to make sure that your grill is not too high and you don't want to Burn them, okay? Mm -hmm. So we got our grill on. Let me just make sure that it's high enough. And by the way, you can also take this. Oh, this is very good. You can also take this and do this on a grill, barbecue grill outside. Yeah, How about we that? Have, yeah, okay. okay. So we're going to take the first group. Also, four sections at a time. Mm -hmm. If I can get it open there, yeah. Okay, because you got to cut it. Remember, use the. Um... It's okay. There you go. All right, Let me go and I'm going to go ahead on, and because the lines are going this way, I'm going to put it on a grill this way. All right, and we can actually do four more on the other side there. Okay. So let me you just go ahead go? and do this it's one. It's already cut. Thank you, honey. Oh, you're welcome, and We're going to put them on the, the grill. And the grill's going to make those lines on there for us, and now I want on the other side is to go ahead and put a little bit of oil, because oh, we got to flip them okay. over on the other side, okay? Oh, all right. This is before. Now, I mentioned that we have a... a barbecue sauce, you have your favorite barbecue sauce that you like to use, so that's when you can do that. Now, we do have in our global cookbook, we make our own barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. We make our barbecue sauce, we make our mustard, we make our butters, all of those. But on the market also, you'll find those kind of things as well. So, it's going to get brown on the both sides. Two, that those two, four. that's going to, uh, now this is it. Okay. Once, no, I'm going to do the other two. Once you get finished browning it on one side and browning it on the other side, then what you're going to do is you're going to put it back into your baking dish. It goes back in the baking dish because now it's going to be time for you to put mm. the barbecue sauce on. I already had the barbecue sauce here. My favorite barbecue sauce is right here. And we're going to actually put the ba barbecue sauce on it after we get done, Afterwards. all right? So let's just see what's happening. And let's see if it's got some lines on it yet. Head up kind of high. There. Mm -hmm. 
Well, not as not as not as much as I yeah. would like it to have. Let's turn it up a little bit more. And you stay there just a little bit longer. A little bit longer. And the name of the game is just there. You go. Is to get those lines across it. You can see a few lines. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this particular one I like because this is making the ribs up. And like I said, that same body wheat gluten, you can use it. Mm -hmm. And you could put um, beef style or chicken style flavoring in it. And you can actually turn it into a fried chicken. Oh, okay. Body wheat gluten. You can take, make corned beef out of it. Mm -hmm. You can make a mock turkey out of it. Vita wheat gluten. That is the name of the game. That is the name okay. of the game. Okay. All right. How did you come up with this particular recipe? I saw uh, something one time before. It was talking about some ribs. And once again, I just played with it a little bit. You kind of tweak it? I kind of tweaked it. I kind of tweaked it. That's the bottom line. You have to kind of tweak it to make it your own. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so I like the fact that it's got a nice chewy taste to it as well. It is browning. Okay, I see it browning there. And for the sake of, oh, there you go. Oh, okay, see? now you start seeing a the line. There's the yeah, lines it across now. it. Yeah, okay. Just turn up a little bit. Yeah, and okay. And you got your lines across it. And so, when you're gonna at the what's gonna happen is that I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep on this because it takes a little bit. Just remember you're gonna do it on the top and on the bottom. Mm -hmm. All right. And just to show you, when it gets done, I'm gonna move that over. You're gonna take it out. Put it back in and put those two in there. Uh oh, I'm getting ready to sneeze. Okay. Let's move this over. Oh. Bless, bless you, my child. <laughs> Was that a stop or that has to keep on going? No, honey, let's not talk it, just to keep it going. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the bottom line is you want to get those lines on it. And uh, instead of letting you see all of that, remember now, I've done this part here. These other two are going to go on a grill mm -hmm. as well and get that browning on both sides. Oh, okay. Okay, but I want to show you what's going to happen once we get done with that. So these are the getting this two together. Yes. You're going to take your barbecue sauce and you're going to start putting it on the ribs. It's time to paint. It's time. It is time. Paint it, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your barbecue sauce on, and it goes back in the oven. Oh, okay. okay. It goes back in the oven, and it's going to go ten minutes on both sides. Now, you want to put barbecue sauce on both sides or flip it? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll flip okay. it over. Okay. Once you put it on that one side like that, mm -hmm. while those are getting done, then I take and turn them over. Now, what I do is, is ten minutes on this side. Go ahead and do ten minutes um, at 325 degrees. It's going to caramelize. The barbecue sauce is going to caramelize on you, okay? Then you flip it over and you do it ten minutes on oh, the okay. other side as well. Mm -hmm. At the end of the program, you will see the finished product and you are going to be surprised, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Curtis, Let's go ahead on and look at. See, it's already doing even. Yes, yet. it's turning it. It's doing its thing. Excellent, superb. Okay. So barbecue, beefy bar barbecue. Beefy barbecue ribs. All right. Beefy in quotations. Yes. Now, along with barbecue ribs, mm -hmm. why not have barbecue baked beans? Oh well, might as well. About going okay. on a picnic. So we need to go ahead on and do the baked beans. A very simple, easy recipe. Let's look at the ingredients. Okay, let's do it. It is our spicy barbecue baked beans. It calls for three 15 ounce cans of red kidney beans and one cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. Okay. That's gonna sound good, baby. Barbecue beans with barbecue ribs. Yeah, because you know, there are certain foods that are picnic foods, all right? They go so together. You, know you gotta have the barbecue baked beans to go with that. And this one is so simple. It is just the red kidney bean. That's all we have there. And all we're going to do is put that kidney bean in our pot. Well, let's do this first. Let's mix it in with the barbecue sauce. Okay. Want to go ahead and put that in there? Here you go. Just mix it in with, oh, spatula. Spatula, yeah. Mm -hmm. Spatula. Okay. All right. So we're just going to mix that in with that as well. And the thing is, there's a lot of barbecue sauces on the market as well. Like I said before, we make our own barbecue sauce because sometimes there's things in it that we're not wanting to eat as we're plant-based eaters. But I make up the barbecue sauce way ahead of time, and it makes a lot. It makes so a lot. So just regular red kidney beans. Regular red kidney beans. Now, the name of this game is, there's two things you can do with it. One, you can put the kidney beans mm -hmm. in the oven in a baking dish 
and let it cook in the oven or because the beans are already done, you can just put them into a pot like I'm getting ready to do right now. Oh, that's it, huh? I mean, is that simple? That's too I simple. Know, I know, that has to be and much more I know, I know, I know that Becca thought that we were going to be working it hard to bake these beans up. No, no. Okay, we're oh. going to turn in, turn the fire on. And, and I'm going to turn them on a simmer because they're going to cook for about maybe a good 30, 30 to 45 minutes. Let it sit there as it's getting itself together. And you know we got the ribs already up there in the oven. Yes. Remember, it's 10 minutes on one side. Then you're going to flip them over 10 minutes on the other side. The you get 30, yeah, the ribs. Oh, we got I them need to go up there and... No, no, no. Oh. No, they're fine. They're oh, they fine. Okay. But anyway, um, now, now, now we got the ribs. Mm -hmm. And we got the baked beans. Okay. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, so we're going on a picnic, so what else could we possibly have on this picnic? How about potato salad? Okay, yeah. I, I knew that was coming. You know potato salad got to be Have to have potato that. salad. Yes, yes, yes. So let's look at the recipe okay. for our potato salad. Let's do it. This is a red skin potato salad. It calls for one pound of red skin potatoes, one medium onion minced, one red pepper diced, one green pepper diced, one stalk of celery diced, one teaspoon of sea salt, and one cup of egg-free veginase. Okay, potato okay. salad. I All do right. remember making potato salad. Mm -hmm. I remember the potato salad used to have all this goody stuff in it, including a lot of eggs. Goody stuff. So so-called goody stuff. Now we are doing our potato salad. Cholesterol free. Cholesterol free. Yes. Okay, and we don't have any eggs in it. No although, eggs. although, although there is a way now. This is just a secret. This is just a secret, okay? okay? All right. So if you really need to have those eggs in there, you know, you just want to have an egg or look like egg in there, you can take the silken tofu, which is extra firm or the soft. Now, I say extra firm. And you're going to cut it into itty-bitty chunks. And then you would just take and mix it in with your potato salad at the end. And people are going to think that is boiled eggs in with the potato salad. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Just cut it up, small pieces, like it's like boiled egg and put it in that potato salad and they're going to think that's it. Plus, mm. there's also a salt out now called black salt and the oh, black, black salt, salt actually tastes like egg. All right? It has an egg flavor. All right? It's so called black salt. It's the name salt. of it. It's called black salt. That's right. Mm. So, okay. that's in this recipe, because it's, once again it's plant-based, mm. we did something a little bit different and that is instead of, you know, the big white potatoes, we're doing the red potatoes and these are also on the market right now too. They're very small red potatoes, already mm -hmm. ready to go. Now, any reason why these particular potatoes? I mean, well, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something different from a regular potato salad. So now we're doing a red skin, and we're keeping the skin on it. All right. Okay. So with that in mind, all I did was put them into a steamer, steamed them up a little bit, and then I'm going to take and oh, turn it this way because I'm going to have you go ahead and do the bell peppers. Oh, bell peppers. Me. Okay. And all I did, all you're going to do is once you steam them, it takes a few minutes. It's just going to cut them in half. And you want to cut them bite size, right? So cut them again. And then you're just going to slice them about a couple times. That's all you got to do. That's it. Oh, okay. All right? This keeps the nutrients in. And the red, the red skin makes the potato look totally different. Let me do the onions. Yes, please well. do that too. Okay. A little bit smaller, honey. Okay. You do that one there. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a tad bit. Okay, because this is a, and also a potato salad. Normally, it was the eggs, it was the mayo. And then it was uh, onions that was in there. And maybe you would use a relish. So this you have potato, a lot of cholesterol in there, too. Yeah, man. this potato salad is using red peppers, is using bell peppers, and is using celery. Okay? Oh, okay. So, I see, you know, we had our beans going on over there, and I guess they're doing good. They're making noise right now. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, let's turn that down. Oh, it's yeah. looking real good. Oh, that, you smell that barbecue sauce? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. So we're going to turn that all the way down. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's okay. one of the easiest ways to make barbecue baked beans. Barbecue baked beans, you don't have to go through all those things. You know when you try to buy barbecue baked beans at the store, you're going to have a lot of ingredients in it, once again, that you don't need to be having, okay? I'm going to move that to the side, but it brings a little bit closer to me because what's going to happen now when you're doing that? We're going to add in now the different things. We're going to add in first our onions. I'm going to put these in, and then, Chris, you're going to give me the rest of those, honey. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put the onions in. 
Uh, somebody asked me, can you use red onions? Um, you can, you can use red onions with it, but I'm using that red skin on the potato, so um, it might kind of clash with that. Can I, got I put red both of these well. in together? You can put both of those in there at the same time. Okay. Go right on in there. Because all I'm gonna be a part of it. Okay, and you can also go ahead and put in the bell peppers. Bell peppers, all right. Yeah, here, oh, okay. And, and then, then the celery. Uh, celery. Mm -hmm. okay. You wanna use that very? Yeah. And this is also a very colorful dish, very colorful. And we got the red, red peppers. peppers. These red peppers uh, come from our garden? No, we not green yet. Peppers. We got the green peppers. Yeah, we're going green peppers, peppers, green peppers now. Garden. Yeah. All right. And we're just going to mix that up. And you can already see once again, it is so pretty. Mm -hmm. It is so pretty. My normal potato salad, we didn't do all that. And once again, there is so much joy in plant-based cooking. It is so pretty when you see the combinations and the colors that you can actually put together as well. I'm going to sprinkle on the sea salt. Yes. And the last thing is, I said an egg-free. This is an egg-free, believe it or not, it's called Veginase. Um, they have a grape seed mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. A lot of these males are out okay. now on the market, and they are very, very good. And what I, anything that, whether I'm doing sandwiches or doing salads or whatever, anything that calls for regular mayonnaise, mm -hmm. which we're not going to be using, we're going to be using either a Veginase or a grape seed mayonnaise. There's All a lot of mayonnaise on the market. A lot of them. Soy-based or cholesterol-free. That's right. That's so, it. Uh, just and they're in the regular, regular supermarket. Mm -hmm. Regular yes. supermarket. Absolutely. Now, sometimes when people talk talk about vegetarianism, they always say things like, you know, well, trying to go plant-based is very expensive. And all, we once again said this before, the cost of food does not Just stop at the cash register. It continues to adopt office. And you office. are so worth it. You know, think about it. We put a lot mm -hmm. of money in our clothing, a lot of money in our cars, a lot of money in our vacations. But when it comes to our body, we throw anything up in mm -hmm. there. You can't keep doing that because when you throw things up in there, guess what? Eventually, there's going to be some diseases, mm -hmm. heart disease, diabetes obesity, mm -hmm. all these things are a combination, all right? It's gonna go down. So this part, we're gonna go ahead on and start putting in the Veginase, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And some textures a little bit different than others. I mean, I guess a matter of preference. Um, it just uh, depends on what yes. you want. Um, basically, uh, the this one, one I use is Veginase. This right is my here. favorite yes. one. Yeah, it has a, a, blue, a blue label on it. Mm -hmm. um, but any one you wanna use, you can. I'm gonna use a regular spoon on this because I think I would, it would do a lot better. Because I don't have my other one over there. I'm going to go this ahead and. No, I just gonna, it's, gonna, it's not going to do what I want it to oh, do. Okay. So let me just go ahead on and do it this way. So, all you're going to do is make sure that you get all the mayonnaise to cover the potatoes. And when I do this one here, I like to make this up a day in advance. When we talk about going on a picnic, we do it a day in advance, and that way it gives a chance the flavor to get all through the potatoes and the onions all get messed up together. This is a beautiful dish, and it is absolutely knocked down. Drag out. Good. All right. Okay. We got okay. that. All right. Okay. So we got the potato salad. Got the we got barbecue, the ribs. Baked beans. The ribs. Got the we got ribs. the barbecue. Yep. We got potato salad. Okay. Now I guess people are saying to themselves, okay, so we got most of the stuff for our picnic. People are trying to figure out now, are we got, do you have any desserts for this picnic? Something sweet. Got to have something sweet. It's and guess what? Got to have something because sweet. Because we're going on a picnic, we're actually going to do two desserts. Oh, two. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, that's yes, going to be a good picnic. It's going to be a good one? Okay. Well, let's look at the actual first dessert that we're going to be doing okay, on this particular it. one. It is our pecan date carob bites. So it calls for one cup of pitted dates, one-fourth cup of maple syrup, or one cup of pecan halves, or one fourth cup of carob powder, or one fourth teaspoon of sea salt, and 14 pecan halves for our garnish. Okay. This is a dessert. You dessert. can take it with for you on a picnic. picnic. Yes, you, or can. Any yes place. you can. Or any place. Any place. Oh, uh, once again, all natural uh, mm -hmm. sugars and stuff that we're using. And this is a real quick one to make up. So let's just open up our this food is processor. Our, the heavy duty food processor. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So okay, we're going to put so in. What are we... Go ahead and put your the. Uh, Pecans, pecans in. okay. All right, uh -huh. going in. And we're going to put the dates on in there. The dates, okay. Yep, and, yep, uh, yep. Okay. Oh, you know, I really want to put you in here because you're my date too, aren't you, baby? Okay, yes. No? Uh -huh. Put these dates in instead of you? Yep, put, put those dates in there. I'm messing you up a little bit. Put those dates in there. I was just asking a question here. <laughs> I can't go into a food processor. I'm glad you can't. <laughs> I won't have you anymore. Okay, okay now. <laughs> okay, focus, baby, okay. focus. Try to focus, try to focus, try to focus. Try okay. to focus. Now, okay. what I want you to do is I'm going to put the lid on. Go okay. ahead and put the lid on. All right. Make sure she's ready to go. Okay. And Let's pause it. No. Let's go ahead and do the 
on. All right. So, no, 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 oh. no, 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 put it back on. Right oh, now. just the top? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do a, let's do a pause. Okay. So let's do a couple of pauses, then I'm going to add the other stuff to it. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, now add the carrot powder to it, but I want it to be on. So, go ahead on, we're going to just go ahead and start putting the carrot powder in. Okay. Uh, let me do the carrot powder. Okay. Why, you say? I don't have no idea. I'm going to back <laughs> up a little bit. I'm going to push this over towards you. <laughs> so if something happens, I'm going to step one step to your left. Okay. So We're going to turn on whole. Okay. Now it wasn't smoking, it was just a carob mm. coming out of it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Of the carob. Woo! Mm, okay. All right. So let's just one, no, wait a minute, hold up. Oh, Let me go ahead and put these in. Oh, okay. Because I want this to be a nice, you know, so carob is going to be the replacement for what, Curtis? Chocolate. Chocolate. So for my chocolate lovers that say there's no way, I can't do there's the chocolate no, way. no more. There is a way. Yeah, you can do and that. And we're doing it. And we're doing it. Oh, you can go ahead and, okay, go ahead and yeah. cut okay. down. So we're actually going to be using the carob uh, powder in this because we want to get that assimilation of chocolate, okay? And uh, I believe it actually tastes very, very good. I have a friend girl that uh, one time she was asking, <laughs> she's heavy into chocolate. And so I said, well, I have a recipe. I've got a couple recipes we use the carob powder for, believe it or not. And she said, I don't believe it. So we made some uh, carob brownies and took them to her house. And she said, I, I love, love Carol. <laughs> Should we call her name out? So no, 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 no. We're not gonna call her name okay, out. Okay, not gonna call her name out. No, we're out. not. Okay, so we're okay. gonna put this back on and let it spin around a little bit more. All right. She will get you, Curtis. Well, no, it's, I mean, All right. it's a good thing. I'll put this on top after stopping the All right, now, so they can see now, it Now, where, where would you get carrot powder first? Because- Like a grocery maybe, store. Regular grocery store. It's the regular grocery okay, store, carrot section, powder. I mean, we're, but they have the natural food sections now in the grocery section. store. So okay. that's where you would go and get it. All right, so I'm gonna take the blade out. All right. Let's go ahead and hold up. Let me put that over here. Cause I want them to see this being done here. Let's go ahead and move that back there, baby, for me. All right, so we're gonna take out the mixture. Oh, not thick now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're gonna put it in the bowl. Oh, okay. Now, chocolate, we were someplace and we actually tasted uh, the cocoa pod or the chocolate and very bitter. Very, very bitter. So you have to add a lot of sugar. Yes, you do. Because chocolate is not naturally sweet. Nope. And so a lot of high sugar content yeah. and chocolate itself. So the carob works out really well as a substitute. It really does, yes. And um, I think I got most of it out of there. I just want them to be able to see. It does have to go in a food processor. You cannot put it in a blender. It needs okay. to have spacing for it to go around. Need a food processor. I, was, I could hear, I could hear Rebecca asking me that I question. I have a blender. Can it work I in a blender? The in a answer blender, no. is You can see no. it gets real, real sticky. Yes. Real, real sticky. All right. And I think That's the, cam the camera crew is going to finish that off. Okay, so let's go ahead and move that out the way. And let me just, let's go ahead on and make these um, carabites so we can have them for the picnic as well. We're going to move that over there too. So we got that one moving out the way. And we're going to move that out the way. And there's a couple things you can do. Number one, you can use a scoop or you can use a teaspoon, all right? Now, I'm not going to use that scoop. You're going to let you use that so scoop. So we're going to actually time. just take it and scoop it up. Let me get my gloves out here again. Oh. 
because I got to make these into little balls. So it got, it won't get kind of messy. Out the way. Yeah, you want to move that out the way, baby. It's going to get. It doesn't get really messy. It's just going to get sticky. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get a little bit more. Uh oh. I think I'm going. I am going to have to use my hands. Take that. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, if you would give me that. Uh, um... Take your time, baby. <laughs> spray. I have no spray. idea. Spray. I do now. Spray. Okay, now, now. I'm gonna spray my while, hands. While I'm over here, is there anything else you need that you can think of? I think I'm good. Okay, you're Just good. Give me okay. Spray. Now I'm gonna be right back, so you don't need to talk because I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Now don't get yourself worked up. If you think that it's getting too sticky, you don't want to deal with it because it's gonna work its way out, as you can see. Let's go ahead and spray them hands. How about that? That might help a lot. Oh, okay. So now you're making the balls all of the... Uh... Yep, we're going to make the balls up. Okay. All right. Oh, so much easier. There Look you at go. that. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Can make the balls up. Mm -hmm. I, would go ask, I was going to ask you if you'd like to do that, but... No. <laughs> no, one, one sticky hands is enough. <laughs> On Let's the go set. Ahead. Let's get this one out. Yeah. Whoops. Uh oh. You yeah. didn't see that. That's mine. You, you didn't see that. Right. Oh, the, well, so, the, the camera picked it up, but that's, the camera that's did. okay, honey. The camera did? Yeah. Okay. So make sure you spray your hand first with a little bit of spray. Get nice and gooey there. See, one of us need to have clean hands. So <laughs> you know. And we're going to do that again. So and now. So all this, you're doing is you're actually okay, making so the just balls. Just making the balls up. here. Okay. And then now this. Go into an oven? Uh, no, 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 oh. believe it or not. Uh-uh, you no. All this stuff here, everything we're doing right now, no oven, so except for those ribs. How long are you gonna let this sit overnight? Now, this has to sit. refrigerator? It does, I put it in the refrigerator right after it's over, it'll it'll harden up on you, okay? It'll harden over, up Overnight? On you. Yeah, you can do it overnight. Overnight, okay. okay. Now, I want you just to get the idea of this, because mm -hmm. you'll see at the end of the program. So once you get your little balls together, okay? Got your little balls together, then what you're gonna do is let me just go ahead and throw this in the trash here and but now don't get just I could see you saying I don't want to get all that stuff all over my hand it's gonna be all right it, it's gonna be all right so just make sure you oil your hands first <laughs> before you do this okay now then you're gonna take a pecan half and you're gonna just put it right in the middle like that oh right there the woman's touch like that yeah, yeah, let me get, I can do one of those now. Oh, then okay, I, there now you I go. I can do that. Okay, okay. Yeah, without getting my hands all messed up. There. Yeah, see, there you mm -hmm. go. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, oh, these are going on a picnic. Uh-huh. There you go. So you're going to put those in the refrigerator, and it makes about anywhere between 14 and 16 of the little balls, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't make them real big, because they're supposed to be like bite size. You just put them in your mouth, and you're good to go, okay? So that's going to go in the refrigerator also as well. And at the Pecan end of the program, bites. you will see the finished product. All right. Okay. So. So now, now we, we have two desserts. We have two desserts. For a picnic. Yep. We got the the carabites, and we also gonna do something else that's really good. Could be some kind of a bar or something that we're gonna be taking with us on this picnic as well. I'm be so. Out in the picnic for a long time, baby. Mm -hmm. right. So let's look at the next recipe. Okay. Let's do it. All right. It's our shredded wheat raisin bars. It calls for a one fourth cup of Florida crystals a one half cup of maple syrup, a one half cup of natural peanut butter, three cups of shredded mini, mini wheat, and three four cups of raisins. Okay, this is a good one. Okay, hey. so we're really excited. This another is the last dessert. one. One yes. more dessert here for it. This was another one of those no bake. All you do is put it oh, together. Okay, so we're not baking a whole no, lot of no, things no, now. No, no, okay. no. So in this recipe, what I'm going to do is there's two ways. You can put it in the microwave mm -hmm. and do it, or you can just do it here. We're going to go ahead and put okay. it on a stove. We already got our fire on there. We're going to put in this is the maple syrup going in first. Oh, okay. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and add in the sugar also. For the crystals, you can get that now in any in. regular grocery store. And no, now this is the this is going to be the peanut butter, all natural peanut, peanut butter. butter. We're going okay. to put that in as well. All right. Mm -hmm. No sugar added. Well, no peanut. That's right. The peanut butter, all natural peanut yes. butter. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and put that in. 
Oh. We had these uh, just recently. You made these yes. for me, honey. Yeah. Think about when we come to 3ABN and do the cooking programs. Sometimes you test some of these recipes on me before we get here. And, uh, <laughs> so I look forward I to have these. to. Yeah. I got to try them out. I got to make sure they're going to be okay. You know, let's get all the all the goodies there. So we're just going to stir that around. Now very, I like to say this: very seldom they reach file 13. Very seldom. It's a go the first uh, time out. <laughs> yeah, really, seriously. Okay, so I'm going to take. Let, let me do this because we got a, a little bit more goodies in there. You know, I like to get everything out. Everything. Okay. All right. How did you get this recipe? How did this come about? Now, believe it or not, well, okay, once again, sometimes I'm able to develop recipes from the beginning. Sometimes I look at recipes that are already out there and say, how can I make that more healthier? There you go. All right. And I think years ago, this recipe was actually on a, a shredded wheat box or something. I'm not really sure. Let me turn this up a little bit more. I think was on there, but it had a lot of uh, stuff in it once again. And the name of the game is that when you're talking plant-based, don't get all worked up because mm -hmm. basically a lot of the things yes. that you're doing or switching out can work really well. I'm gonna let that go around. And so the shredded wheat, we had a time fine shredded yeah, wheat. Yeah, without sugar. We fat, yeah. Everything it, was frosted. Everything was frosted shredded yeah. wheat. But then on the very bottom, bottom shelf of the supermarket, in the way back, back in the booth. In, in the, the dark. There was, there it was shredded wheat. Without little sugar. Shredded wheat, little, the little itty bitty shredded wheat, no sugar added to it there at all. Go. And all we did was go ahead and put the raisins in, baby. Okay, raisins. Put the raisins are gonna go in there. Uh-huh. Okay, and then, and then you're gonna go ahead up. and mix them up. There you go. Okay. All right, and this is getting itself together here as well. This is that peanut butter, maple syrup, and the Florida crystals. And we're gonna mix those together. But we're gonna make a bar, okay? Make a bar. And you see how nice and smooth that became by just being in there. And this recipe, it had a lot more sugar in it. It called for one cup of sugar and it called for one cup of honey. And I'm like, oh, no, oh, no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Okay, they'll be dancing off the ceiling yeah, at the picnic. Kind of hot, isn't it? All right, so now I'm going to take and put this in here. I want oh, to Oh, you're going to pour it in here? That, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, make the bars. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, okay. You smell that peanut butter? Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Superb. Mm -hmm. This will work right, right. here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead on and get the rest of the goodies out. Okay. You're going to go ahead on and start stirring up for me. Oh, all right. I'm going to put the last bit in. Stir it up. Be careful, babe. Yeah. Okay, let me come over here with some more of this. I got some okay. more. Okay. All right. Let's turn that off. The name of the game is to coat the shredded wheat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what it reminds me of? Coconut. Mm-hmm. Doesn't it look yeah, like coconut? Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Has that nice mouth feel. Yeah. Nice and crunchy. And once again, it actually will cool off. When it cools off, it makes into bars, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can take it from there, babe. I'm going to go ahead and okay. transfer it over. And, yeah. Okay, we got all the goodies out of there. And it is, make sure that all of it's covered. All of it's covered. All right, once again, a nice presentation. And all we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it into oh, okay. an eight by eight dish. All right. And at the end of the show, you will see the finished product on this as well. And this will bake for how long? This does not bake at oh, all. Oh, again. <laughs> No bake. No baking. No baking. Okay. All right. Save on the electri electricity bill. Yes, sir, that's right. All that's right. right. So, so that's going to go there. Now, you know, we talked about the fact we we're going on a picnic, or we talked about picnic time was the name of this program. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to really go on a picnic by just bringing out all the stuff that we need. So before we do that, you know what, Curtis? Also, I know they said, well, there's no salad. I mean, she's got all that stuff. She's done the ribs, and she's done the beans, beans and, and she's done the potato salad. But Dessert where is the green stuff? And I know you said that. And so, what we have also... Oh, what you have, honey? We just done made a jar up. So oh. guess what? We're going to picnic, and what you will do with that is all you're going to do. You already know what your, your salad part, whatever mm. you want for your salad. And this one, you're going to put your sauce <laughs> of a ranch dressing or something in the very bottom. Mm -hmm. And then you can see I layered it. I layered I got the actual romaine lettuce. I got my carrots. I got my cucumbers. I got my cherry tomatoes, and this is Swiss char at the top. Oh, and Swiss char, okay. you want to make sure that you don't take it all the way up to the top, because when you get to your picnic area, all you're going to do is shake it up 
and turn it upside down and you got ready to have your salad while you're on a picnic. Now I know if you're going on a picnic too, here. we got to make sure we have all of our stuff. So we got all of our stuff oh. first. We actually have all the things we need for a picnic okay. today. Wait and you know here. what I'm saying? What I got, I got, I got the, the, the containers for all the okay. stuff to go in. All I got the napkins. Here. I got the plates. Okay, I got okay. the forks Okay, honey, everything. you ready. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to show them what everything looks like. Then we're going to pack it up mm. and we're going on a picnic. Oh, okay. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Before we come back um, at the time, we're going to have a roll of our products. If you're interested in learning about more about recipes, how to expand your recipe collection, here's the information that you need. For more information about Health Seminars Unlimited, please contact them at 256 859 1982. That's 256 859 1982. Their email address is hseminars at bellsouth.net. That's hseminars at bellsouth.net. On YouTube, you can search for Curtis Paula Aikens. And their mailing address is P.O. Box 2873, Huntsville, Alabama 35804. That's P.O. Box 2873, Huntsville, Alabama 35804. So, okay. we have finished Team this picnic foods and we're going on a picnic. Ready so for a picnic with all the delicious, all the healthy, cholesterol free foods Absolutely. for the picnic. Well, we started off with our barbecue ribs. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, we did. We got those barbecue ribs. And the going. barbecue ribs are just glistening. Yes, just glistening. they made with that, yes. uh, that um, vitamin E gluten. Then on top of that, we made our barbecue baked beans. Mm -hmm. And when the barbecue baked beans, we did our potato salad. Yes. And after we did the potato salad, we did the carob. Pecan, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. desserts, Looking and then we good. also did our shredded wheat. And then I talked about making up the salad to take with on you. The so you get the yes. On the side there, there. So we're ready, because I already had my picnic basket. There's your picnic like I said, basket, so we're yes. We're just gonna take our picnic basket and we're gonna take all of our stuff. So when we gonna go on this picnic, baby, just me picnic? and you? Yeah, just You're Not gonna buy anybody else? No, but I got enough food for other people to come, but do you just want it just to be us? Okay. Let's just be us first, and okay. then uh, after that, maybe we can invite somebody else. <laughs> they go a little bit later, right? Yeah, uh -huh. Make, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're first. I'm going to be selfish for this picnic right here, all right? So now we can sample some of this food here. How about, how about one or two of those desserts? Uh, either one of those will work for me. Okay. Can, can you help a brother okay. out? Okay, so you want one of the desserts. So let's just uh, take something like this right here. Mm -hmm. This is what you're asking for. I know you're going to eat yours first, Not right? necessarily. I, I can fill in your... Okay, there we go. Okay, mmm. You haven't even had it yet. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mercy. Mm, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's mm -hmm. chewy. Mercy, mercy. Mm-hmm. It was real good. The raisins. Mm hmm We know that this is a healthy dessert for a picnic. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Peanut butter. Yeah. 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 Um, what about one of those uh, <laughs> date something? Uh, you talking about the, the carrot bites? dates? Carrot dates. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me get one of these off here. Yes, we got just a few more minutes to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you have to share. I got this and I got this. Okay, you just take a bite. Mmm. This melts in your mouth. Oh my goodness. Mm hmm. It's really good. Mm hmm. We want you to call us, get these recipes. Mmm. I can't talk. <laughs> you can't talk either. This may not work out that well. <laughs> but anyway, um, so again, uh, picnic food, anytime you want to have a good, healthy, delicious meal, whatever it is, this is the way to go as far as that's concerned. Uh, the ribs probably going to be the most surprising dish in this group. Mm -hmm. I would say the ribs because mm -hmm. it looks like barbecue ribs, beefy, and the glistening of the barbecue sauce. Um, any favorite barbecue sauce or um, person's favorite one preference? Is, it can go on a whole wheat bun, mm -hmm. and you are ready to go. Well, as always, bun. John 10, 10, Jesus said, I come, that they mm, might have life and have, have it, it more abundantly. abundantly. See you next time.